Hi. Uh, this is basically an anecdote about setting expectations. Um, so in the field I'm in materials chemistry, there's an interest in trying to develop new materials to enable new technologies. And this is an insanely large design space because we've got about 100 elements we can use. We can put them in different combinations and arrange them into different structures. So sort of back of the envelope chemistry suggests that sensibly there are about a trillion possible materials that are sort of viable. But we've only found about 100,000 of them in practice. So this is something that's brought a few people to say, well, let's try using data mining. Let's try using machine learning. I mean, if it can drive a car, it should be able to do chemistry. And this has led to several large-scale projects where people have dumped a lot of sort of medium quality calculated data into big databases and then have sent all their grad students to try and mine this for interesting stuff. And the attitude kind of this among a lot of my peers that this hasn't been hugely successful. We haven't seen massive, high-impact, exciting new scientific results from this. Um, part of this comes to the problem that 10 to the 5 is not actually a big data number. There's very little redundancy in there because all these things are different compounds, so that's a limitation. But I think the real problem is how we actually assess or consider what's going to be exciting science and whether that was ever a realistic goal. Like, high-impact research needs to be new, it needs to be useful, and it needs to be explainable. <laughs> Um, when you use these kind of automatic methods, uh, if you're just looking for some kind of trend or physical law, it's very likely that you'll find some trends, but it's very unlikely that no chemist has already noticed them. Um, if you want to try and find something that's got a better material than anyone's ever found before, that's extrapolation, and extrapolation is a very difficult thing to do correctly. Um, so where this stuff is actually starting to really get used is it's starting to come into a more conventional workflow and automating kind of more, more sort of actually classic pipelines. Do I care about this? Well, the side effect is we have awesome databases now. These people want to do machine learning, but actually it's really useful to just go look stuff up, and that is really helping us day to day. So sometimes the side effects are useful.